Today's episode of the Anthony Anderson Show is brought to you by usgoldcoins.com. That's 1-800-HOT-COIN. And Mezzygrill, mezzygrill.com. And also tradehill.com. Greetings, everyone. This is Anthony Anderson coming at you from New York City, episode number two. I'm here today with Mia Andres of Organic Avenue. And we're here today to talk about Organic Avenue, talk about cleansing, your story. I really want to get into organic cosmetics. I want to talk a lot um, about your experience with feng shui. So let's start off with your history. Tell me a little bit about yourself, how you came to be in New York City, how you came to be into conscious eating especially. That would be really cool. Sure. So I've now been here in New York City for just about 10 years. Okay. I'm originally from California. Southern Cal, right. San Diego, and I came here on vacation 2000 and decided this was the place where I wanted to call home, uh -huh. my new zip code, so I moved into New York two months after my first vacation here, Okay. and I fell in love with the city, and been working here with a major cosmetic company back then right. for quite some time, and I decided 2008, it was time for me to move on mm -hmm. and find truth in my life and mm -hmm. really just go out there and do what I really want to do. Yeah. So it was time for me to go back home okay. to San Diego and kind of get still and get grounded and decided to pack up again temporarily just to stay there and see yeah. where life was going to take me. Sure. So sure. Um, it, it transformed. Yeah. And then getting into the, like, what, what year did the food start coming into play? Well, it started coming into play that year. In 2008? 2008. Okay. Yeah, so the summer I left in June and was back in California um, within literally about less than 30 days. I went, attended a workshop. Okay. And it was a Qigong workshop to learn how to breathe and sure. really get still again and really find my breath because living in the rat race here in New York City, mm -hmm. my breath was stuck here mm -hmm. for the longest time. So I attended this workshop for four hour, actually a 40 workshop, eight hours a day. Okay. And from there, on my first day, I was just expelling toxins and sweat and perspiration. And I thought it was not normal to to experience it and yeah. I had no idea I was going to feel that way yeah. um, but it was such a great transformation and, and you felt that on the first day on the first day of just breathing so wow. learn how to breathe all the way down to your dantian and, and what's the dantian well it's it's down here where okay. you focus your breath and really sort of just expanding your your lungs and breathing in uh -huh, all the way down to your spine and interesting and just allowing all the energy to move from the bottom of your feet all the way up to your crown chakra. Yeah. And we did, did several different exercises, circle of breath exercise, where you're in a circle of, we, there must have been 300, over 300 people at that particular event, just learning how to breathe. And um, mm -hmm. it was amazing. On the second day, it was a nutritional class on an hour of nutritional healing. Uh -huh. And I had no idea that that was even going to be discussed. Um, uh, right. So Check the uh, founder took a Blendtec blender and took a whole avocado, the seed intact with the avocado, added some blueberries, some spinach, and some other produce, and created this really delicious mm. purple smoothie. Wow. Fell in love with it. And for the first time in my life, the light bulb hit like literally lit up and, and I went vegan. Okay. I went raw. Okay. And um, alcohol free and also caffeine free. Okay. Everything was pretty much. Coffee was out. Coffee was out. Okay. I was drinking three cups of coffee a day mm -hmm. um, when I was living here in New York and just my adrenals were shot. Yes. So super, what, what happens shot. when you drink too much coffee? Uh, <laughs> oh, it's your adrenals, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, your adrenals. So um, it was a good thing. I, I really enjoyed it. And <laughs> I ended up deciding, okay, it was time for me to literally just, you know, change my life. So yeah. I learned how to make some raw food. Um, and a friend of mine had recommended for me to go to a retreat. And I decided, you know, I'll save my money. I'm really 
creative. I know how to mm -hmm. make and create really beautiful tasting recipes. So I went on the mm -hmm. website, came across uh, your website, watched your videos. I saw Annie Pio's videos and just started to make my own food. Cool. And I would sit there on the dining table by myself because nobody wanted to eat the food. Right. <laughs> and just be really gracious and have gratitude of what I was eating. And I was sure. eating organic. And luckily, you know, in California, the food's really delicious, especially in the, the local yeah. farmer's market. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so that's how it transformed. And I just let every single day pass you know, by one day at a time. Mm -hmm. Wasn't thinking about the future, just living presently, learn how to meditate through falling still. Um, my friend, Jamel, our friend, Jamel Perot, created a video called Falling Still. So I found myself in front of a computer, falling still for one minute. And okay. it was my way to learn how to meditate because it was difficult for me in the past to have no thoughts coming through. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially living in New York, there's thoughts that are always passing through day by day, yeah. minute by minute. So yeah. it was good for me to just literally learn how to do that. And it worked and I evolved into a longer meditation. So now I'm able to meditate up to 20 minutes. I don't do anything longer than that. Okay. I usually like to do a five minute meditation before work. Nice. When I get up in the morning and when I go to bed. Okay just to really release all the, the thoughts out of the head and any yeah. negative energies and allow the chakras to just flow through. Sure, so. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, a really cool idea with this falling still is that there's a mentality out there that some people might hold that the longer you meditate, the more hardcore you are mm -hmm. and the, the more enlightened you are and the more you're gonna get from it. And really, I don't feel like it's like that. I feel like if we are uh, conscious about just kind of breaking through throughout the day whenever we can, breaking through that veil of, you know, endless thinking and, the, and the, the mindless chatter in our brains. If we can just stop for a minute or two and just calmly like sit in a chair, close our eyes and just clear our thoughts for two minutes. Or if you don't want to clear your thoughts, just think about gratitude and how great your life really is and how lucky you are. Doing things like that make a big difference and you can just do it throughout the day. You know, one minute here, two minutes there. Let's do one right now. Sure. <laughs> and really, it's only a minute. It's not like we're going to sit here for 30 minutes and it's not a, a big, uh, it's not a, a pissing contest of what people call it, you know. It's not about quantity. It's really about the quality. So we just kind of sit for a little while. I take a few deep breaths. A lot of people like to put their hands on their knees. Uh, you can sit on the ground if you'd like to. If you can directly sit like on the grass or on a rock, that's even better because you'll be grounded to the Earth's electrical current. But if you can just sit in a chair and just take a few deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And just think about some good stuff or, or clear your thoughts. I like to think about living on a paradise planet and hanging out with my grandkids as they pick fruit and nuts from our food forest when I'm 70 years old. And thinking about, um, you know, forests covering cities, but people still living in these cities and skyscrapers coming up through these jungles and everything is sustainable and everyone's eating fresh fruit. And by putting those kinds of thoughts into my mind, I feel like I push out that vibration into the world and it's just a nice little reset, kind of like a a reboot of my hard drive when throughout the day, you know, there's so much going on and it's just nice to kind of sit for like a couple minutes and hopefully in silence without me chatting about. But um, you get the idea and it's actually like a really nice way to just kind of chill out for a bit and reset your clock. And really, again, it's not about the time and the length of time and the, the endurance of the meditation. It's more just about thinking that you want to just have a kind of just a little reset. And even if it's only a minute, that's really what counts. And you can do it throughout the day. I like to do my exercises like that too, where I feel like I don't have to do it all in one big chunk. I can just break it up throughout the day and do little five minute stints and 10 minute stints. And it ends up allowing me to be more consistent. And then I'm able to make that connection more often throughout the day. Cause maybe it's better to do it five times a day for one minute. Oh, of course. Instead of once a day for 60. Yeah. And then the rest of the day you're busy and you know, it's almost best to kind of... It's always good to reset. To reset. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So how long have you been with Organic Avenue? 
It's now two and a half years. Okay. Yeah, so I decided to move back to New York City after seven months of living in California. Uh -huh. And I came here in December um, for my second trip. Right. Um, in 2009 and walked into Organic Avenue. I was looking for a tri best blender that Annie recommended from her videos. Annie P.O. Annie P.O. And I saw these juices in the refrigerator and I was already drinking beet juice and sure. And I decided to just grab one of their juices and it was amazing to feel the vibration just coming through my body. Mm -hmm. um, I know it, not everyone might not feel that, but it just felt really good. I was already at a, a really high level of raw at the time. Yes. Wasn't 100% yet, but working towards that and it just felt great. I was really detoxing and I met Denise and Doug on my very last day. I was literally eating lunch and drinking juice every single day when I was there. And one of the reasons why I came back mm. to that uh, New York trip was to celebrate my birthday and also to meet the community. Um, I, had, I had been friends with Jamil on Facebook through Falling Still, mm -hmm. and he had let me know that there was a party that Vanessa Barge from Gnosis Chocolate yes. was hosting. It was also her birthday party, so I decided to go <laughs> to the birthday party by myself to meet community and people and I didn't have that community where I was living in San Diego so I wanted to meet other people and to learn more about the life and yeah. it was such an amazing story so that evening on the way to the party I stopped by Organic Avenue I'm sitting there on the table by myself and Doug Evans who's the CEO comes and approaches me and talks to me and we ended up just sharing stories and I said you know this I'd love to work for a company like yours and he said, you know, if you want to, just send me your resume. Mm -hmm. And the next day I was flying home, so I went back home on my computer, typed up my cover letter resume, sent it off to him, we talked, and literally two months later, I came back to New York City to do Fashion Week, because I'm also a professional makeup artist, mm -hmm. and um, came here with a, um, a, a one-way ticket. Okay, yes. Right, a one-way, not round trip, <coughs> one-way. One-way. I knew that huh. it, something big was going to happen and mm -hmm. something was going to shift in my life. So, you know, if I needed to go back and I could always buy a ticket. But yeah. um, three weeks into February, he contacted me and offered me the job and I had to go back home because I had to pack. Sure. So I went back home for four days and I was back in New York and basically found a place here and really just enjoy community and helping people because... I was living the lifestyle already yeah, and yeah. just started to really <clears throat> embrace what Organic Avenue offered sure. for the products, the juices, the community, mm -hmm. uh, bringing people to learn more about the life and it's been, it's been great. So they're, they're very well known for their cleanses and their juices. Yeah. What's the cleansing program structured like? Are there different cleanses that a person can choose? Yeah, there's different. There's five different cleanses. Okay. And Denise Mari, who's the founder, uh, created all of these cleanses so that there, are, any one that you choose will be pretty much based on where you are in your current lifestyle. I see. Okay. You, you definitely, if you're a beginner, want to start with the first cleanse, which is Love Easy. Love Easy. So Love Easy is super easy. Mm -hmm. You incorporate juices, elixirs, and food, so you're still eating, and you feel like it's part of a normal life. Yeah. Uh, you feel great because, you know, obviously, the, the food is organic, it's raw, it's made fresh daily. You can pick it up. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it hasn't been sitting on a shelf for days or weeks or months Big or difference. whatever. Huge difference. Uh, so we have Love Easy, we have Fast, we have Deep, which is all liquids. Um, not necessarily, there's no soup, there's no smoothie. It's just fruit juice, um, green juice, veggie juices, master tonic, just to really do, sort of help, you know, soften. Mm -hmm. um, relax the body, allow it to digest. And that's a fiberless cleanse. Fiberless cleanse. Love deep. Love deep. So yeah. the other ones will probably have, they're more blended soups and smoothies and foods. We have Love More that has a, the soups. Okay. Yep. And Love Fast has a smoothie. Nice. Um, yeah. And we have Love, Love Young, which is Dr. Young's, uh, Dr. Robert O. Young's protocol. Okay. So it's... Uh, alkaline diet uh -huh. just to reduce the acids in the body. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. Uh, what do we have here? We have some, uh, Mina was <laughs> nice enough to bring in some Organic Avenue products and we've got some juices and some smoothies here. Yes. And actually, we were drinking some before and then we had to refilm a little bit. So there were five beautiful juices right here and we drank <laughs> a lot of it. So now we have... This is the watermelon juice. Right? And what's great about this is you take a whole watermelon, or actually we do at Organic Avenue, we use a cold press machine and hyd hydraulic cold pressed. So you've done that before, right? Not the cold press. No, not the cold press? Yeah, just like a, a centripetal spinner. Centripetal? Spare. Yeah. Yeah. So Which isn't as good. Yeah. This, this is going to have more of your enzymes yeah. in here, fresher. And as you can see, there's no fiber in it. Yeah. So you can see the color. Mm -hmm. yeah, had a lot, we've had a lot floating. to drink. Nothing's floating. Sure. So we put the whole rind and the seed. Okay. So the seed, the rind, the juice is all in here. Yeah. And it tastes amazing. Yeah. People love it. Men love it because it's sweet. Uh -huh. And women love it as well. But it's great. It has um, it's a really good hydration, especially in the summer. Yeah, in the summertime, for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, right here we have what looks to be chocolate-based. Yes. And what's this? Oh my gosh. Although I've been drinking it for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, so chocolate is amazing. This is called Chocolate Love Smoothie. And the smoothie has uh, hemp seeds. It has alkaline water, a little uh, bit, a lot of cacao, obviously. A lot of cacao. Vanilla and dates. Okay. And it's like a liquid dessert. Yeah, liquid dessert. Yeah. It's like a milkshake it's without a milkshake. the milk. Yeah, milkshake in a bottle. Yeah, really nice. It's really delicious. A lot of men like it as their it their very first juice or smoothie. You yeah. know, because it's just easy to drink. Yeah. Um, they it's. It's nice. It's good. I don't know if I can drink the whole thing. It's a lot. Yeah, I know. I think I <laughs> as I finished it. Um, a really cool thing about the chocolate products is that when you do chocolate, you're actually supporting people that are growing a product in an intact rainforest because chocolate yeah. likes shade, which means you can't just plant it in a field. You have to plant it underneath trees that are already there. So as you buy chocolate, as you buy chocolate products, as you support chocolate companies, you're actually supporting the intact rainforest. So really remember that you're supporting the villagers that harvest these things and ferment the beans and, and the whole process is really involved and it's very labor intensive. So by supporting these companies, like Gnosis Chocolate, our friend, our mutual friend Vanessa yeah. Barge, and you know, Gnosis is awesome. And then right here we have Antidote Chocolate, which is from our good friend Red, who's in Long Island City, and she does the packaging and she has actually a blend of half raw, half roasted, and mm -hmm. this is her lemon salt variety. Yes. You want to try it? Oh my gosh, yes. It's delicious. It's one of my favorites. I love salt. Yeah, salt and salt and sweet and chocolate are really yeah. one of the best ones. Thank you. <laughs> In this, uh, let's see what we got here. Cacao beans, cane, it's all organic, mm -hmm. cane sugar, lemon salt, vanilla beans, and then moringa leaves, which are really high in antioxidants and amino acids. Yes. So it's kind of nice to put that herbal stuff into the chocolate as a delivery system. Yeah. This is antidote chocolate. You know, that's the funny thing. I like to bring a lot of gifts to my agency and and when you bring them stuff like this, you know, because I know that my booker Will, for instance, is a chocolate chocoholic, and I can bring him a, a chunk of Hershey's or whatever, you know, but I want to bring him conscious stuff like this, handmade by people who really care and people that are supporting organic fair trade. And I brought some stuff like this into the into the agency. And then the next day I see a big honking bar of Hershey's <laughs> on his desk. And you can just feel the vibration is just so different. There's no like, I feel like there's so much love and stuff like this yeah. and Gnosis and I mean, there's so many good companies out yeah. there. And then, you know, with Red, this company um, mm -hmm. that she created, the beans come from Peru. So it's bean to cacao. Mm -hmm. It's super important. Mm -hmm. Makes a, a huge difference. Um, super it's fresh. Really good. It's really good, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. This is just one of the many bars that she has. Yeah. And you carry this at Organic Avenue? We have it at Organic Avenue. Okay. Yeah, we have it at all of our locations. Right. Um, also on our website. So if you want to purchase it, you can go on our website, oh, our, cool. our web store. And you ship? And we ship, oh, we nice. ship globally. Oh, nice. Oh, and that's organicavenue.com, everyone? Yeah. Just in case uh, you're wondering, it's right on the bottom of the screen yep. and they'll totally set you up. Another thing that Organic Avenue is known for is their events. Mm -hmm. And they're, they've really become a hub for the community, for the conscious eating community. And there's an event on August 3rd. August 3rd with Jason Robel. Jason Robel, a celebrity raw vegan chef. Yes. 
and the event will be from it's a three hour event it's a three hour event okay uh he's he has a dvd it's called simple classics oh, cool. and he's going to be demonstrating and sampling his really herbal sampling. tonics and as well as the um his super sugar-free desserts uh -huh. so it's supposed to be amazing amazing and then the date that you're seeing underneath me right now is Thursday, August 11th, and that's the event that I'm going to have at Organic Avenue yes. following Jason's event. So Jason is on August 3rd, yes. and then I'm going to be on Thursday, August 11th. 11th, yes. And um, We're super excited to have you back. <laughs> <laughs> this is your third visit. Yeah, my third visit now. This is my third talk, and it's actually... Da, 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 I'm trying to read what that says on the screen, and it says one. Is it 115 Suffolk? It's on 116. 116 Suffolk Street, yeah. and that's in the Lower East Side of New York City, mm -hmm. and that's that's the space of love. That's like the main hub of Organic Avenue. Yes. More, give or give or take. That's yes. like the spot. Okay. That's the spot. And pretty soon they're gonna have their tonic bar there. As far as my event, it's called a model for living, and it's kind of a culmination of the past eight or nine years of everything that I've really come across and what I've weeded through and formulated to be a really good blueprint for living my life and how I've been able to stay thin, all the ups and downs that I've had through my dietary journey and what I've kind of pulled out from it, lifestyle stuff, like stuff like water, you know, my water, my water strategy, my, my shower filters, using glass, using glass that um, is Myron glass, like dark bottles, wild food. I'm going to talk a lot about exercising and multitasking when I exercise so I can listen to like a French lesson or I can listen to a podcast. Uh, I like to really listen to the one radio network.com podcast. Those are really great. Um, so I'm going to be giving tons of tips. It's a two and a half hour event. We're going to be doing a lot of samples from Amazon herb company. Mm -hmm. It's a company that we teamed up with recently. Uh, they've got a lot of cool products that support the Amazon rainforest. Do you want to try a little? Sure. This is the Camu gold. It's a camu, camu berry extract, yeah. which is really high in vitamin C. Mm. Mm. Yummy. So there's gonna be a lot of these samples. There's gonna be some smoothies that I'm making. We're gonna make one called the Ninja Turtle, which has a lot of pumpkin seed oil and uh, Sun Warrior vanilla protein and a lot of really cool stuff. That sounds yummy. <laughs> so yeah, really come. If you're even, I mean, I feel like this is an event that could really change people's lives because I've been through a lot of stuff and I really had to stay competitive in New York City to be able to be a working model. And the stuff that I've figured out, I feel like it's really clicking for me now. And I just want to share that information as a fellow student as well, as a fellow student on the path that is continuously learning. And I come from my heart and I just want people to know what I've gone through and the tips that have really helped me. I'm going to talk a lot about food forests and how to set up your own food forest, whether you live in the country or the city. And I really kind of want to wrap it up with an idea of why we're here on the planet and what our mission is and really like the deep down connections that we truly have and sometimes we forget and how we can actually form a, a nice synergistic community and go get away from all the BS clutter and the small differences that can really divide people. I really want people to be unified and just focus on the positive, you know? Mm -hmm. this, this talk is really going to be about positive solutions instead of fighting the negative with negative. Because if you're, if you're bummed out about negative stuff and you come at it with that negative energy, it's just going to feed that negative monster. So really, you just have to shine your light and just be a positive person. Just be an angel on the planet, whether or not you believe in angels or not. Just be an angel yourself. Look in the mirror and realize that you chose to come to this planet for a reason. And you're here to bring paradise to the planet, and that's how I feel, and I think that's how a lot of us feel nowadays. So I'm going to wrap it up with that. We're going to do some guided meditations. We're going to do a little qi gong, yeah. <laughs> stimulating the meridians and getting things it's going. Energy. Good mm -hmm. stuff. Good, good stuff. Uh, I'm in New York for a reason. You know, we're here. Uh, that would be a good time to actually go to our sponsors and give them a little love. with usgoldcoins.com. Andy Goss is the man. Check out his book called Uncle Sam Cooks the Books. He has inspired me beyond belief. I've been listening to him for about three years and he's totally changed my paradigm about money. And after that, we have Mezzi Grill. Mezzi Grill is the first restaurant in New York City to support Bitcoin, which is the new digital currency and it's a really, really big deal. So show your support to them. They have awesome Mediterranean food and they recently made the Clean Plates NYC list, which means they have really clean food and they're really awake about their menu. It's a really good company to support. And 
TradeHill.com. TradeHill.com is one of the new kids on the block is as far as Bitcoin and exchanging. And if you use their code, which is TH-R141, you get 10% off your trades for life. TradeHill.com. So, let's talk a little bit about your personal interest in feng shui. Sure. And what you can do for the studio here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Wait, we can do that. <laughs> yeah, we, maybe we'll do a show on that. We'll do some stuff. Yeah, and we can definitely do that. How did that come about and how does that relate to your life in New York? Do you offer personal consultations? Um, yeah, so a couple years ago when I moved back to California, I met Amanda Collins, who's Amanda my... Amanda Collins, okay. Master, she's a feng shui consultant. She's a teacher. She has consulted for many companies, including uh, large companies that mm -hmm. you can probably see on her website. Mm -hmm. And she um, offered these classes, and she's still offering classes. And I just decided one day it was time for me to dive into really learning classical feng shui. Yeah. And the reason why I wanted to learn from her was because she herself obviously she lives it and I just felt that she was the right teacher uh -huh. for me so mm -hmm. um, especially here in New York City where f traffic flows all the time and the energy is flowing it's important to have a good balance in your life so I learned how to use these concepts and um, have not been fully going into diving into the whole business because I work full-time at Organic Avenue sure, but sure. I definitely do do that and I'm currently working on a place right now to help bring balance into yes. the client's life. So. I've seen it, it looks really good. Yeah. The recent project. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, are you seeing people go more towards modern decorating or are they keeping some of their older antiques? Does feng shui apply to both? Oh, or is, I mean, it applies to both, yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, it applies to both. It's not necessarily, it's not even about the type of furniture that you have it's it's really mm -hmm. it's it's really um taking the the year of the building that it was built okay. and literally just calculating all the numbers Interesting. so that each quadrant has uh, specifically the remedy that you need to create the balance in that particular life cool um and it could be for whatever it is that you want. So if it's career, if it's romance, um, bringing a baby into your life, bringing more money and abundance, yeah. those are all important. And it doesn't just start with a home, it's also you know, your property as well. So you oh, can yes. also feng shui your land, for instance, um, sure. or your business. And you know, whether it's a small business or a large corporation, you can definitely feng shui that, or an entire building. Really? Yeah makes really? it you can feel the shift when it happens and most people are not you know aware of it they feel something is good I mean you probably know that um, you probably feel really good with the swell in back of us for mm -hmm. instance that's you know part yeah. of feng shui as well it's cozy it's cozy yeah it's protection so uh -huh. makes a big difference when all these little small elements um, are put together and you know when the energy is bad and you, yeah. you feel that yeah yeah can you feel a difference um, living in, because you live in Manhattan, right? I do, okay. yes. Okay, so can you feel a difference with the energy living here compared to Southern California? Oh, of course. Like even walking around and stuff? And, yeah. Okay. Of course, I mean, it's the whole, you can feel, you can feel the, you know, the subway, mm -hmm. the frequency of that, which is apparently really, really bad yeah. for us. So um, I, I'm really yeah. fortunate I walk to work. Right. <laughs> I have an eight minute walk, so I'm never in the subway other than, you know, if I have to come up here. Yeah. Or. We took the subway today. We took, I know. <laughs> or to Central Park, you know, yeah. uptown. Yeah. I prefer to be above ground on the, on the bus, but you know, yeah. it's, you got to have balance. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when I had a, a bicycle, I, I rode my bike probably for nine months straight, I think. And yeah. then it was actually, I was helping Bruce and Ed move, mm. strangely enough, and I was meeting a friend from Manitoba Harvest, the hemp seed company. Right. And I locked my bike up at Union Square. Mm -hmm. We went for a little walk through the farmer's market. Yeah. I came back and my bike was gone. And well. <laughs> so I walked downstairs into the subway right in Union Square, 
And I was just like, woof, I could just feel that yeah. energy down there again. Yeah, it drains you. In a bad way, yeah. In a bad way. Yeah. And I, I, I had avoided the subway for about nine months. I couldn't yeah. believe it. I, I didn't go in there once. Even in the rain, I, I don't know. Somehow I managed to stay away mm -hmm. or I would walk and then just going back down in there. Yeah. And it's like I ride the subway a lot and I kind of try and block it out with some music or good yeah. stuff. But you definitely can feel it. It's kind of... It's like a vampire in a way. It is, yeah. I've, I've been really fortunate the past couple of years when I've lived here in New York City. Uh, prior to moving back to California, I was living in West New York, which is in New Jersey. Oh, sure. So I would take the ferry to work. And that was a beautiful ride, just coming through there and then taking the bus to work. So I really mm. was hardly ever in the subway for yeah. a good number of years. Yeah. Except for my first, maybe first two years of living in New York. Okay. So... Um, it's it's nice. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's definitely nice. Yeah um, On that topic a little bit. Um, I kind of wanted to ask about like the cosmetics mm. Because it's not even really on that topic, but I'm curious about yeah. cosmetics because you coming from the cosmetic industry mm -hmm. I think um, you would be a good insightful person to see whether or not the trend you know, we know we know about the food now we know like what we put inside our bodies in our in our temples it, it, right. It's a big deal yeah. And also now what I think a lot of people are tuning into is that what we put on our bodies, on of our course. temples, like the paint that we put on, yeah. you know, the makeup, the, the yeah. shampoo, the, the toothpaste, the, uh, the deodorant, you know, all these things really play in to the overall health of our life. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing a trend going more towards conscious beauty products? There's a huge trend. I mean, it's, it's being written in the magazines already mm -hmm. and um, on the internet. So there's a lot of co organic companies that are making really good products right now. Um, especially at Organic Avenue, we carry a couple of really great beauty lines, such yeah. as Tata Harper. Tata Harper, um, she okay. She carries skincare and body. Okay. And we started carrying her about a year ago and we did a, a major event called Inside Outside Beauty. Cool. Um, we geared it towards women, obviously, because uh, that's her product line, sure. but men can use it as well. Definitely. And we did, we did have a couple men that attended, and um, what, you know, she she herself likes to use products that are just natural, paraben free, mm -hmm. um, that are safe cosmetics. She was part of um, a group of people that created the Safe Cosmetics campaign. Okay. Do you remember that one? No. The the video. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. So yes. She no helped kidding. create that. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. So. Um, we have her, we have Seagal Healing Spa. Okay. Um, we carry, what's the other lines? Uh, Dr. Alkaitis, okay. Simply Divine. Um, right. We have a hair care line that we started carrying two years, a year ago, mm -hmm. called Intelligent Nutrients. Mm -hmm. uh, they are based in, I want to say in Minnesota. Interesting. I'm not really sure. But Horst. Who is thinking? the? Hmm? What are they thinking? I know <laughs> Horst. Uh, I believe it's in Minnesota. We have to check that out. Ooh. But Horst, who is the founder, um, came from Aveda. Oh, okay. He created this brand. Oh yeah, Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, what I like about it, it's there's the shampoos are sulfate free. Um, mm -hmm. They're great for any type of hair. We carry the Harmonic shampoo and conditioner. Okay. Uh, men and women love it. And the brand is for you know anybody all ages, which is really nice. But the shift is definitely there between men and women, yeah. um, and more so with men too. It's, you know they're they're seeing it. Yeah. They want to use really good things for their body. Um, yeah. Women especially because as they're drinking the juices, they're feeling great. They're starting to think out earlier now. Yes. And me myself, I'm not 100% all organic in the makeup that I use, but uh -huh. you know, I am searching. So if there are companies out there, you know, I really do encourage you to create some really great, wonderful products um, yeah, that are for the, ma for the mass, because it's expensive. Yeah. Um, I have a friend who created a brand, um, but in order to, you know, really make it mass market, you've mm -hmm. got to put a lot of money into it. It, so yeah that's the thing yeah it's always about the yeah. startup money but I think you know consumers have such um, if they can demand all these great things and mm -hmm. that's gonna shift all the major companies to start creating some really good chemical free products yeah because yeah. we have the power yeah really we yeah. do you know really if anybody if you if you have a, 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 a brand or a company that you like and they're not offering the products that you that you want 
email them and get a few friends to email them too and they pay people to listen to this kind of response yeah, yeah. and they really I mean they feel like if one person writes them probably thousands feel that way and they're just you know too busy to, to write them themselves mm -hmm. so if you can get you know a few, maybe a dozen friends to just ask for organic cosmetics and, and shampoo without methyl parabens and, and all this funky stuff on the back it's just like eating food you know just turn the bottle around and look at the label and see what's on there and if there's a lot of wacky stuff that you might not be able to pronounce you might want to think twice about it yeah um i went to lush actually oh, you in did. california uh -huh. and they're kind of they're about that in a way you know but yeah. their stuff has parabens in yeah. it yeah but they say it's derived from blueberries hmm I haven't heard that. Yeah. I'll have to research that. Google, Google parabens okay. and blueberries. And I guess they're naturally occurring in blueberries, but I don't know. Like uh, That stuff scared me so much. Yeah. But they were really kind of good about explaining it all. So mm -hmm. um, it you just takes be, a conscious person. Yeah. And you have to be careful too, because companies can claim certain yeah, things. Yeah, they sure so can. So you have to really do your research on all of these brands. You know, just yeah. don't trust it because it says organic or yeah. you really look at the ingredients if you if you can't understand what the ingredient is, yeah. that usually means that it's probably not good for you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Or if you can't even pronounce it. If you can't even pronounce it, right. yeah. Just yeah. that chemi stuff. And don't confuse the Latin names with chemicals, of course. Yeah. But yeah. Um, you know, there's really like a lot out there that is really being developed right now. And it's really kind of exciting to be a part of that, uh, you know, that movement in yeah. a way. I think if you eat, and eat clean, yeah. healthy, you really... I mean, Why I wear not? makeup because I, I, you know, it's, it just enhances yeah. a little bit, but you know, when I don't wear it, it felt great. I don't really, I don't wear foundation okay. at all. I just have a little bit of powder on okay. my skin, mineral powder. Okay. And you know, if you want to pinch your cheeks, you get that natural red glow. Oh yeah. It's something that Tata Harper taught us at a, her facial event is wow. just pinching your cheeks for that natural glow and Interesting. redness yeah you, without the blush without the blush yeah so it's or you could get a sunburn like me <laughs> <laughs> i was out in the sun too much yesterday yeah cool cool and you know another thing too that i've really come across is the looking for good deodorant and being oh, cautious yes. about the aluminum <laughs> the aluminum in deodorant mm. you know to flip that flip that thing of old spice around and see what's in that thing because there might be aluminum in it Mm -hmm. And if you're rubbing it in your armpits, it's getting into getting, your body. Right. For sure. So be cautious about that. Flip the thing around and then, you know, write Old Spice or write Gillette and tell them, guys, make, make an organic product because a lot of people want to buy it. And these companies have the resources to make an organic product. Mm -hmm. And you want to support the small companies, of course, but it's really good to see big companies taking on an organic product. And I, you know, even like, let's, for, for example, Walmart, you know, yeah. like, Walmart supports a lot of organic farmers, actually. Mm -hmm. And when I go to, if you know, like when or if, if I go to Walmart, I really like to buy organic products because they see it in their computer. Mm -hmm. They see that, oh yeah, the, the salads are selling. Okay, mm -hmm. oh, this, uh, whatever, you know, our right. organic apples are selling. And then it's gonna encourage them to buy some more and that means more support for organic farming. So no matter where you shop, big company, small company, whatever, get them into the organic lines, whether it's cosmetics, clothes, you know, clothes are a big, we'll cover clothes maybe in another episode. Of course. Yeah. GMO cotton, pesticide sprays, you really want to go for organic clothes yeah. and hemp and bamboo. And You're wearing a bamboo shirt right now. Yeah, this, um, this yeah. is the Organic Avenue Love Shirt. Yes. Which stands for the Live Organic Vegan Experience. And it's just, a, I just love this shirt. It feels so nice. Feels good, right? Yeah, it's yeah. almost like all bamboo. There's some hemp in there. Yeah, there's some hemp in there. Yeah, gosh, it feels great. Mm -hmm. And you have some more colors available pretty soon. Yeah, pretty soon. More colors. Cool. People are asking for them, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah people like the pinks and it's, it's great. the blues yeah. and all that. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. Very yeah. cool. Uh, let's check the chat rooms. Sure. And see what's going on. Um... People were asking about, uh, there's some talking about geography. Mm. Where did you happen to get those shoes that you're wearing? Oh gosh, it's always about fashion, <laughs> especially yeah. here in New York City. Yeah. <laughs> well, these particular, I shop everywhere, but these particular shoes, I was in Southampton last weekend and, um, you know, when you're mm -hmm. in the, when you're outside of New York City, you like to shop wherever you can. Right. So these are from a store called TJ Maxx. Everyone knows that store, right? TJ Maxx. Yeah, so they have a new commercial called the Mas Ma 
uh, Maxinista, I think. The Maxinista. The Maxinista. That's cool. But you know, I would, I'm so amazed. They have some really great shoes for women there. Mm -hmm. I'm sure for men as well. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So it's always worth a look. And the prices are great. And that's cool. Started shopping there and kind of like it. Are they sponsoring the show yet? No. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> This is brought to you by TJ and X. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm trying to, well, my shoes, if anyone cares about my shoes. Yeah, your shoes look pretty hot there. <laughs> these are uh, Vibrams, and I've been a fan of Vibrams for about four months now, five months. These are the Five Finger, show, uh, five finger Shoes. Yeah. And I don't know, I think this is like a Komodo Sport brand. And actually, um, these feel really good. And the thing is, once you start wearing these shoes, you really don't want to go back to regular shoes. You almost mm. feel like you're slipping your feet into a binder again and you just want the freedom and it just feels so nice but they've got like these weird s silver swirlies and I took a black sharpie and I took the, s the silver out so it's just black all the way through but oh nice I highly recommend these and it just if you're if you're at like a REI or a Paragon or something try them on and see if you like them wear them with socks because otherwise they're really gonna stink but I think you might like them a lot I don't I know I think we should contact them so that you can I start. Think we should. Yeah. I think we should. I think you need to do a campaign for them. Yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah. I think they would be down for that. And they're really growing a lot too. So. All right, we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. Yes. Yes. I get some <laughs> cards, I get some shirts, t shirts. Uh, very cool. So we covered the events, we talked about all the juices and stuff. Yeah. Uh, we talked about your shoes, <laughs> we talked about chocolate. And uh, what's in the future? What do you got planned? What's What's coming up? What's coming down the pike? Well, uh, let's see. At Organic Avenue. We yeah, can talk in, about general, that or in general. Some, any, any more um, big news coming down? Any more expansions? I know you've really expanded a lot. Oh my gosh. Organic we're, Avenue's huge. Yeah, we're huge. Um, we now have over 100 employees. Wow. Company wide in our kitchen and also sure. in our stores, in our office. Um, starting from like. Starting. Well, when I started, there were only seven of us in the retail store, including. Yeah, and including Doug and Denise. Yeah. <laughs> that was just two and a half years ago. And the kitchen was probably, I don't know, maybe 20 people, Okay. I think. Okay. So um, we moved out of our kitchen, which was 300 square feet, to now 1,500 square feet, which includes a warehouse, mm -hmm. plus the facility to wash the produce and make the juices, make the food, do production line. Cool. I was just there a couple of days ago just taking a look at it and you know, helping with organization yeah. on that end. And we're opening up two more stores this, what month are we in? It <laughs> July. is July, mid-July. Mid-July, so August 1st, we're opening up our next location, Midtown East okay. on Lexington and 54th Street. Okay. And then two weeks after that, if all goes well, we'll open up Greenwich Village. Cool. Another store, and then in Long Island, We'll have Roslyn Heights, which will be a Roslyn really Heights. unique store within, it's our Organic Avenue store within this humongous, beautiful store. Hmm. And we're super excited about that. Um, we'll let everyone know when that happens. Okay. But uh, we're shooting for September for that opening. Uh -huh. If someone isn't living in the tri-state area, or can they have juices shipped to them? Is oh, of course, possible? yeah. Okay. We ship. We ship nationally anywhere in the U.S. Okay. And we ship them in plant bottles. They're a little bit longer. They're not the 16 ounce. We do a 12 ounce bottle. Mm -hmm. um, only the Love Deep because it's juices and they're uh -huh. easy to ship. We don't do food yet because we haven't quite mastered shipping food. Yeah. And making it look pretty. Yeah. So we just do the juices, and we have clients from California to Florida to. Oregon. We've even shipped to Canada before. Okay. Um, you know, we've we've had celebrities that want our juice, and definitely, you know, if they want it, <laughs> we'll make it happen. Sure. So we do do that, but we're expanding. And in November, we're launching on eleven, eleven, eleven. We're launching our Elixir Lounge. Cool. And we might open it earlier, possibly. We're looking at that, okay. but we're going to be doing the very first alcohol-free light club nice so instead of a nightclub it'll be a light club oh cool and what's great about our space at 116 suffolk street is not only it's a, a boutique but it's our event space it was previously a nightclub wow and they shut it down a couple years ago so we kept the bar 
and we renovated the back area yeah. and we're now going to liven it up with the light a light bar conscious connections yeah. um, we have a disco ball still so cool. you know we'll be able to dance and have our drinks and be high on cacao and tonics i wonder if you need a cabaret license to do the dancing to do the dancing even if they don't sell alcohol yeah i think, I think it's you different do yeah really i think if you don't sell alcohol oh I mean, right. you can't tell people not to dance exactly yeah well yeah i think probably in new york there's a funny thing it's called like a cabaret license where they try and you have to have this thing to be able to have dancing if you sell alcohol because like i don't know there's yeah. it's, it's new york city people I know. Have you have to dance like right in place and can you believe that <laughs> And, you know, it's, it's kind fun. of a loose thing, but it's yeah. not like they're going to come and, like, bust you for dancing or something. But right. I think they try and discourage it. So it's something with, like, the nightclubs and everything like that. Yeah. And are the hours going to be later if you're doing uh, Yeah. Well, we, we won't be open past probably 11, 30. Oh, well, it's pretty I would, late then. I would say. Usually it's 8? We close you, at 8. Close at 8. Okay. It closes at 8, but once the Elixir Bar opens up, we'll definitely have it open afterwards. Would that be fun? Yeah. There's a, a lot of exciting things that are going to be happening at the space with... I can't reveal them now, but you know, if, you, if you're interested, just go on our website, organicavenue.com, sign up for our newsletter, and you'll see all of the events that are happening, plus we're yes. going to have some major parties coming up. So Yes, yes we will. And another really important thing about the events is that you've got to pre-register for the events, because it's really important, it's really important that Organic Avenue knows if you're coming because they need to plan with the seating and they need to, there's only 75 seats available for these events mm -hmm. and usually they sell out pretty fast so you really need to kind of get on top of it. Register, get your name on the list and then uh, we know how, how much smoothies we need to make, we know about the samples that we're going to give away and we know about the seats so definitely pre-register on the event page at organicavenue.com if you're interested and this is going to be some life-changing events and even if you're considering um, going, even if you live outside of the, of the New York area, fly in and yeah. it's August in New York City. It's a beautiful time to be here. Mm -hmm. It's not as hot as people say. You know, it's pretty. It's I, I'm beautiful. so it's happy here right now. Such a great summer. Yeah. It's the so weather's nice. beautiful. It's not really that humid. Yeah. You walk around like at 8 p.m. and it's like magical. Yeah. You know, it's like that magical evening light and, and, and if, then come to an event. And yeah. You know. And if you need a place to stay, let me know. I, I can definitely recommend some really great hotels in the neighborhood or yeah. whatever neighborhood you want to stay in yeah um unfortunately i don't have a big house to house everybody but fair enough um definitely recommend some really cool places yeah. we have a couple of hotels in the lower east side one's the Rivington hotel oh yeah that's which place. is just a few that's blocks from us yeah and then the lower east side thompson hotel which i've stayed at uh, a few times 60 thompson that, that one's in Soho, but oh, the Lower cool. East Side is right on Allen and Houston. Oh, okay. So it's that nice tall one. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. It's really, really nice. Yeah. I love it. And the, the staff is really great there. It's a bit of a smaller boutique hotel. Yeah. Um, but it's it's close and it's not, you know, it's literally, what, 10 minutes from Soho? Yeah, and you just walk straight across minutes from on Prince Union or Square. Square. You're there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good location. Yeah, so come. China definitely Town's come. There. Yeah. So you have to register for Anthony's event. Yes, and Jason's. Oh, and you Jason's. can come for Jason's and yes. stay the week and then finish with mine. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. And if you want to stay the whole July, there's a huge party that we're throwing. Yes. That you and I, Jamel, Vanessa, Philip, yeah. and Nira were hosting. Yes. 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 So we're hosting a it's potluck. It's potluck and ping pong event. Yes. And uh, that's going to be, I'm Ju not sure you're July, on the venue. July 30th. July 30th. Working yeah. out the venue still. Working out the venue. And we'll see where it's going. It's going to be fun no matter what. And then yeah. we're going to go play ping pong at a nightclub afterwards. So yes. it'll be a good time. And everybody brings really awesome food. And we just love the potlucks. And that's how we met. I think yeah. we met at a potluck. We met at a potluck. At Vanessa's place. At Vanessa's place. Yeah. It's all about. See what's so cool about this? Like <laughs> People do the potlucks and you make friends. And three years later, you're hanging out doing a show together. So. Yeah. And it all is because of the internet. And we're just so lucky with the internet. Oh, my gosh. What, what would we do without the internet? I don't know. And Facebook. <laughs> I don't know. Just hang out and have normal lives, I guess. <laughs> Um, I want to pull up, speaking of um, Facebook, I always get some good questions on Facebook and there was a really good one that came up recently and it's kind of about the dichotomy, dichotomy of my life and the modeling stuff. And I'll read it off really fast and then we'll, um, we'll talk about that a little bit. Hi, and I'll leave it anonymous because she didn't want to 
be known for this, him, or whatever. Hi, Anthony, and she's a great person. With all due respect, I find the Madison Avenue Times Square stuff to be an extreme contradiction slash paradox to what you're trying to promote. You would not probably have the freedom that you do without the money and fame that has come from the civilized world that you denounce with your replanting paradise message. I'll keep reading. Don't get me wrong, I totally dig what I dig that you want to actively and inspirationally recreate a more natural world, but the other modeling stuff mixed in your message is just a turn off to me. Sorry, it just smacks of all that is over commercialization in this world, a very artificial, super ego lifestyle that I don't have the energy or the heart to keep up with. In love and peace, Anonymous. And so um, I replied, I can just kind of, whatever, I can paraphrase what I said. I just asked her to really kind of step back and look at the bigger photo, look at the bigger picture of the photo, and see like how many people may have been exposed to organic gardening, green living, permaculture, replanting paradise because they were attracted to my modeling photos. You know, if I wasn't a model, I don't know how many people would be following me right now and following the show and on Facebook. I think there's a big following because of my Times Square stuff and my modeling photos and people want to know what I do for, for food and for and healthy living and what I put on my body and and these things really are about the bigger picture. I don't necessarily, I, I wouldn't say like I'm so proud to be a model or I'm you know whatever, I, it's not an ego thing, it was something that I kind of fell into and and I realized that I was able to be more influential. Like I might be able to be more influential in someone's life than a doctor because I might have the results someone wants instead of a doctor, just this and that. And they might have a degree, but they're not the living example of what someone wants. And on the other hand, maybe I am, and I can get people into organic gardening and conscious living. And maybe a hundred years from now, their great, great grandchildren are going to be eating pine nuts because they were inspired to plant a pine nut tree because they saw a talk of mine. So I just kind of asked, like, step back a little bit, look at the bigger picture. Um, it's it's influential when I can get some good jobs and people pay more attention and people get more conscious. And, and I'm just trying to come from love. I'm trying to come from my heart. Uh, I know some people don't appreciate the dichotomy, but I really think the dichotomy is part of the flavor of all that is this show and raw model and and it's, um, I just ask for people to kind of embrace it a little bit and not take it so seriously and just focus on what you like. I mean, life is a buffet. You don't have to take everything that I say or everything that I do as gospel or whatever, you know, it's just like, take what you like and see if you like the gardening stuff, go with it. And some people just like to look at my photos and they like to look at my abs and stuff, like whatever, you know, it's all kind of a big part of the, of the overall picture and I just want people to get into the green living and the conscious living before it's too late, you know, because the sooner you can do this stuff, the sooner you can liberate yourself from sickness, feeling lethargic, negative thoughts, replanting paradise, that's the key. Don't let the modeling stuff get you down. I know it's very commercial. I know it's got all that kind of stuff going on, the ego stuff, and I would love to work for a lot of conscious companies but I can't turn a lot of work down because if I did, my agency would kill me and they would let me go and I wouldn't be a model anymore. So you kind of have to take the good with the bad. I'll never do a job for Monsanto. I'll never do a job for Pablo. <laughs> if I do a job for McDonald's or Pizza Hut or something, I will give the money away, I promise. So um, just kind of step back and again, look at the bigger picture because it's all from love and it's all good, you know? And looking back on this in 10 years, it's all gonna be mouse farts. I mean, we're all just gonna think it's funny and not a big deal. But so, you know, the yeah, one thing about that up? is that when you're out there doing your modeling, you're influencing all of the people that are part yeah, of that. Good point. And the company as well. So. Yeah, that's that's true too. Yeah, you, you're making shifts and changes. You, yeah, you never know because I might come in with these shoes and then I might um, bring in some green juice from Organic Avenue and uh, you know, I might be wearing this shirt to a job and people start asking questions and you know, you might heal, maybe the photographer has a mom that has cancer mm -hmm. and all of a sudden she starts drinking green juice and she yeah. starts seeing some results, you know, and just for me wearing a t-shirt to a yeah. job. Or it's, it, our world is funny like that. Yeah, or the vice president or the president or CEO of the company. Yes, so you just... yes. Yeah, like they might see, a, you know, me hanging out and they might come to the job and then they see me and they talk to me and see me eating a salad or eating some kind of, you know, whatever I brought. and. And it just kind of, it's, we're all stones in the pond and we can make big ripples and we can make little ripples and hopefully we'll choose to decide to make some big ripples because now's the time for that for sure. Yeah. 
very it's, cool. It's happening. Yeah, it definitely is happening. Mm -hmm. I know with all this stuff, I feel like Organic Avenue has such a clean brand name and and their look is, the logo is just so good and it's just, it has the potential to be a worldwide brand. I mean, it's so recognizable. It is. I see, it. I it, see those orange bags like floating around <laughs> through the city and the orange canvas bags. I know. And, with the OA sign and... Yeah, you definitely see it a lot more now and you see people just walking around with the juice. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, right currently right now we have a special going on on Groupon. Okay. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Oh, cool. It's a two more days. Okay. And it's 125 for 3 day love deep. Nice. Which is the normal That's price. It's a lot of juice. It's a lot of juice. Yeah, yeah normal price is 280. Wow, okay. So it's That's such great. a hefty discount. Yes. And for first timers, you know, especially with our group, the Groupon members, a lot of them have not known about Organic Avenue. There's, yeah. I don't know if you know about Groupon. A little familiar? bit. A okay. little bit. So they have over 2 million subscribers in New York City. Whoa. Yes. So when we did the first, first special with them, they were only at a million. So they've already wow. gone up to 2 million. Wow. So we're reaching the masses and it's amazing that New York City is cleansing. Our first ever Groupon that we did, we sold almost 1,800 Love Deep what? product uh, cleanses. So can you imagine? The city is just drinking and nourishing with yeah. really good organic, fresh, pressed juices. Yeah, and you have a so. good celebrity following as well. Yeah, huge celebrity following. So yeah. that's huge. I mean, once celebrities start drinking this stuff, and it, I feel like it really just opens opens up the heart. It opens up the mind gets the clutter out of their bodies yeah. and then they have the resources to make some real change you know because when I was mm -hmm. you know really getting into the raw food I had such huge revelations about life and and being a part of the solution mm -hmm. and not of the problem mm -hmm. so it makes me very hopeful to know that people with real influence are using these products and yeah. waking up and you know once they start supporting it and putting their money towards it i think we're really gonna like see some really fast change oh of course definitely it's Cause, happening because that's the thing it's like we can we can kind of get stuck in this mode where we're thinking okay conscious eating is for for hippies or for you know more down to back to the land salt of the earth kind of people mm -hmm. but the real people that can make the change are the executives and the celebrities and the the fast moving movers and shakers of new york city right and once they start tuning in and they are their heart opens and and they have a million dollars to plant a food forest mm -hmm. like whoa that's crazy yeah much more than you know a, some young kid coming out of college mm -hmm. So I think that's like the coolest part of or about Organic Avenue is yeah. like it's just so good. On that note, we're going to wrap it up. I want to say thanks to Mia of Organic Avenue. <laughs> How can they get a hold of you? Uh, uh, through Facebook. Facebook, okay. Yeah. Mia Sanchez Andres, or you can reach me at Mia at OrganicAvenue.com. Cool, cool. And my name is Anthony Anderson. This is The Anthony Anderson Show, episode two. Coming back at you early next week with episode three. And uh, thanks so much, guys. Uh, so thanks for all the good support and all the, all the love and the comments. We love it. And uh, this is just the beginning. So much love. Thank you so much. Thanks to Organic Avenue. And lots of love. Peace, everyone. Thanks. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs>